very first ever Cocktails with Stormy. It's a new feature here on uh, Sidetrack. Usually on Sidetrack, we're all yapping about, you know, TV shows and movies and the latest gossip coming out of Hollywood and wherever else. We just don't talk about books. Here we're going to talk about books. That's what Cocktails with Stormy is all about. I make a cocktail and I discuss a book that maybe has not really made it to the movie theaters or the TV screen, something that is really overlooked, and you should be reading it, maybe. So here we go. So today's cocktail is essentially, it's just we're just drinking dimple pitch today, right? We're going to do about four fingers of a dimple pitch. We're really not mixing anything today. It's just we're keeping it simple since this is the, the very first. We'll, we'll do just a, yeah, that'll do it. Nothing really too fancy. We'll add some Sprite. And just a, yeah, I know this is sacrilege to many of you, but you know, I don't care. <laughs> right, so the, the, the really cool thing about this is this dimple, let me move my storm bed over so we can just set it down. So the really cool thing about this is, is like you really don't think this is going to be a thing, right? So we have the Hagen Hague dimple pinch scotch and cheeses. A friend of mine from work turned me on to this idea. Actually, his dad turned him on to the idea. And for some reason, it works. Now, only go out and get the regular Cheez-Its. Don't get the smoked Parmesan cheddar or whatever other commie thing they're selling. We just want the regular. And if you want to go extra big, hey, I'm all for extra big. That's cool. So it's just like, take a Cheez-It. Mmm. Get a scotch. Dude, there's just something about the Cheez-It and the Scotch that really just makes it. I don't know what it is. Let me, let me try it again just to make sure we make sure we get the science through this. Just do through, through observation and taste testing. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. There's the cheese it. It's a miracle. That's all I can say. It's a miracle. So today, there's one of the one of my favorite sci-fi books, and it's one I tend to buy all of my friends. I must have bought it a million times off Amazon. And that is Red Mars by Kim Stanley Robinson. Red Mars. And it's part of the series. You know, once you get into Red Mars, you're going to go to Blue Mars, and then Green Mars, you're going to read the whole thing. But Red Mars is essentially a book about the first explorer, human explorers to Mars. Those first, that first trip. About the first hundred settlers. Now at this point in the, the books, you know, there's already been, you know, um, a human landing on Mars, but it was a return mis mission. But this is the, the first, this follows the story of the first hundred settlers that's not coming back to Earth at all. And it's their, and it's their struggles, both um, from a resource point of view, from a personality point of view, and especially from a political point of view, which was just, the, the politics of it was kind of refreshing. At the very end, everyone came together and it was, and there's still strife, but a lot of the strife was, well, you'll find out. I don't want to give too many spoilers. Let me take another cheese at hit. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Don't ask me why it's so good. I don't know. <clears throat> so, I would definitely add Red Mars, Kim Stanley Robinson, to your read list. And, goes, as soon as, and you might as well go get, you know, go on Amazon and get the other two or your, your favorite local bookstore and just get all three. Red Mars, Blue Mars, and Green Mars. Green Mars is just out of this world awesome. I mean, sometimes with trilogies, you know, the first book is just 
fabulous. And then it's just, oh, the second book's okay. And then, like, you know, it's uh, fine. This is the opposite. This is very, very much of the way around. The, the tension builds, the story evolves, and it really blooms into something that is just really great. Just really great. And that's it here from the Sidetrack uh, Cocktail Laboratory. So until next time, I'll be your bartender. Take care. Goodbye. Okay,